Yeah, so we're still on the discourse of having an ideal marriage and we've been focusing on the female gender, um, the female gender in processing a beautiful marriage. We see lots of chartered marriage um, in our society now and we've actually been talking more on the male folks. Today, we've been discussing on the female gender. Of course, mommy and daddy um, are still in the house. So let's talk about a particular aspect. Ladies who are wanting a particular spec. Yes, um, use the word spec and the world knows it as tall, dark and handsome, Holy Ghost filled and Naira loaded. Those Naira. are the kind of wow. guys that most <laughs> ladies want. Some will say um, they want a touch of um, they want a touch of Barack Obama and a sprinkle of Aromel side and then um, a little bit of Samadei and me uh, and just so mm. but just and then if they could get somebody who is also as fast as Usain Bolt they don't mind all of this in one person. In one man. Yes. All right, Mom. So, what can you say about that? Oh well, there's no nothing bad in having desires, desire for good things. Uh, 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 God actually is committed uh, 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 to ensuring that we are happy and we are good. But the thing point is this: His purpose rules over everything. Uh, when you now begin to wire your mind in such a way that it cannot be changed. The first thing is, what does the God that you love want for you? When he brings it, because of the love you have for God, you receive it. And you, like uh, somebody was saying something, uh, Pastor Benga, uh, something. He said sometimes what, what, what God brings, what you desire is not what God brings. Mm -hmm. but, and I replied, I said, uh, well, then the divinely available becomes the divinely desirable. Mm -hmm. So whatever he brings, because he is the love of your life, whatever he brings to you, you see it as what can do you good. As, and you as a perfect will. As the perfect will. Because of will. course he will not give his children, well, what belongs to dogs to his children. To yes. his children. Yes. Oh, okay, daddy, so what's your thought about that, ladies who have spec? All right, I've uh, illustrated some time that it should be an understanding, there should be an understanding that the woman was made for the man. So I do expect ladies to wait for those who are interested in them, for them to pick them. Because when we have idols in our mind already, it becomes a difficult thing to try to ask God, because he may decide not to answer that. James chapter 4, verse 3. He said, you ask, you don't receive, because you ask a means to consume them in your loss. Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 3. God says, since these people already have their idols in their mind, should I answer them? Isaiah 66 verse 4. He said that I will choose your delusions upon you. I will give you that. So we have to understand that a lady should wait for the man who is interested in her. Why praying to God to bring a man who will appreciate her virtuousness? And while you want to be a wife, Pray also to be a virtuous wife. All right, then. So while Daddy was talking, another question came to mind. But then that will be for another day. Um, the lady should wait for the guy to come. Is it all the times that the ladies have to wait for the men to come? Of course, now in our modern society, um, I don't know maybe when why mommy was growing up or why daddies were growing up. If there were instances where it was the ladies who made the first approach, but now I've heard of stories and even seen it where the ladies are the one to make a first um, approach and then the marriages are working perfectly in my own view. I could be wrong. All right, daddy, so what um, can you say about ladies um, having a particular spec? Well, like, like um, you know, others have spoken, we should think more about um, what does God really want for us? You know, really, Paul, Paul says something in First Corinthians 13, that the time will come when we will know as we are known. You know, there's a way God knows us that we don't even know ourselves. Mm. And God knows what's best for us, you know, and we should trust the Lord for the things that is best. Like I said before, it is only when our desires and our demands, our, our requests match up with what God plans for us that a miracle happens. Mm -hmm. You see, you can never get the best kind of home until you get the person that God has created for you. It may not even have anything to do with what you have in your mind. Mm -hmm. All right, but it is it is sure that the one that the Lord brings will arouse your interest mm -hmm. and will 
key into the lock of your heart and then you be grateful at the end of the day, the day that you didn't get what you asked God for mm -hmm. but that you got exactly what God asked for all right this brings us um into saying that there is a permissive will and there there is mm -hmm. a perfect will god will sometimes give you a permissive will so that you learn so that you learn and experiences you do not want to learn from the experiences of others. I know sometimes um, the best way to learn is to learn from your own experience. At that point, you don't need any other conviction or whatsoever. But then when God brings the perfect will and you are quick to accept it, you now begin to see reasons why, oh, if he had, if he had given me my own permissive will, perhaps this is what I must have been going through. And then because of this um, spec, so many people, so many ladies actually have been delayed saying still that um, still exactly mom is still hanging on the shelf expecting this particular brother to come the brother is not coming the brother is not coming and the truth is it's possible that this is the kind of brother that you've always wanted but he's not coming in that form but then after some years down the line when things are now stabilized you now begin to find those things in him why because you mm -hmm. just have to go through the process in all endeavor to listen to what the spirit of god mm -hmm. is saying part time, part -time. we've had testimonies of women saying when i met him it was not like this and it took a lot of time it took a lot of hard work yes condition your mind to say i want to work together with this i want to work together with my spouse to ensure that our marriage work and then you see god blessing your mind and then do not forget that the center of it all jesus is all that mm -hmm. you should see yeah all right thank you so much mommies thank you so much daddies for this um wonderful thoughts that you just shared with us this is the week radio and we'll be right back just after the break <laughs>